and is a Kalpana here so in this video we are going to see a property from determinants okay let's get started statement if two rows or columns of a determinant be interchanged the determinant remains its absolute value but changes in sign which is nothing but delta 1 equals to minus delta okay so if two rows are two columns of a determinant be interchanged proof let delta equals to determinant of a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 okay so this equals to a1 into a1 so close the row containing a1 and column containing a1 so you'll get depth of b2 c2 b3 c3 b2 c2 b3 c3 plus minus plus so you'll get alternative signs okay minus b1 into a2 c2 a3 c3 a2 c2 a3 c3 plus c1 into a2 b2 a3 b3 So this equals to a1 into b2 into c3 is b2 c3 minus b3 c2 minus of okay minus b1 of a2 c3 minus a3 c2 plus c1 into a2 b3 minus a3 b2 okay so this equals to a1 b2 c3 minus plus into minus is minus a1 b3 c2 minus into plus is minus a2 b1 c3 minus into minus plus a3 b1 c2 plus a2 b3 c1 plus into minus minus a3 b2 c1 so we are having delta equals to value a1 b2 c3 minus a1 b3 c2 minus a2 b1 c3 plus a3 b1 c2 plus a2 b3 c1 minus a3 b2 c1 okay So now we are going to write a delta according to the given statement. So let delta 1 equals to. So here what we have to do? We have to change any two rows or columns. So here we are not going to change row uh, columns. We will change rows. That means we are going to interchange. Okay. So we are going to interchange R1 to R3 and r3 to r1 simply the place of r1 write r3 and in the place of r3 write r1 and r2 remains the same okay so now you have to find the determinant a3 plus minus plus so a3 into 
determinant of B2, C2, B1, C1. B2, C2, B1, C1 minus B3 into determinant of A2, C2, A1, C1 plus C3 into determinant of A2, B2, A1, B1. A2, B2, A1, B1. So, this equals to A3 into B2, C1 minus B1, C2 minus B3 into A2, C1 minus A1, C2 plus C3 into A2, B1 minus A1, B2. So, this equals to A3, B2, C1 minus A3, B1, C2 minus into plus minus A2, B3, C1 minus into minus plus A1, B3, C2 plus into plus is plus a2, B1, C3 plus into minus is minus A1, B2, C3. Okay. So now we have to compare these two values. Okay. So firstly you are having A3, B2, C1. A3, B2, C1. Right. So here you are having plus but here you are having minus. Okay. And coming to the next one. A3, B1, C2. You are having plus and minus here. Next, A2, B3, C1. A2, B3, C1 plus minus. A1, B3, C2. You are having minus sign here, plus sign here. Next, A2, B1, C3 plus sign. You are having plus sign here and minus sign here. Minus. A1, B2, C3. A1, B2, C3. Okay, you're having minus and plus it. So, you could write it as delta 1 equals to if you multiply with minus to this whole value, we'll get the value of delta okay if you want you can multiply with minus or else you can take minus common let's take minus common and see what happens so i'm taking minus first so i'll get firstly i'll choose uh, negative values and i'll write first i'll write them first so i'll get minus of a3 b1 c2 Plus, see here we are taking minus common, so we have to write plus, right? Okay, plus A2, B3, C1, plus A1, B2, C3. Okay, next we'll write the positive values. So here it will change to minus, since you are having, uh, your there, you have taken minus as common, so minus into minus will be plus, right? So, minus A3, B2, C1, minus A1, B3, C2, minus A2, B1, C2. Okay. So, now... You can check... Again, see you are having A3, B1, C2 plus, plus, right? You are having A3, B1, C2 and A2, fine. A2, B3, C1. A2, B3, C1 plus, plus 
a1 b2 c3 minus minus a2 b2 c1 minus a1 b3 c2 minus a2 b1 c3 so this equals to you can say minus delta okay since this is the value of delta right so you could write it as minus into delta so therefore delta 1 equals to minus delta that is change in delta 1 equals to minus delta what we have changed in delta simply we have interchanged two rows into okay simply we have interchanged two rows okay we have interchanged r1 to r3 and r3 to r1 or else you can change the first two rows or last two rows any of the two rows any two rows you can interchange any two rows okay fine so therefore delta 1 equals to minus delta so the determinant remains its absolute values by changing signs so this completes the proof hope you will understand we'll see in the next video until then bye bye